Let's open our mouths today. Father, send forth your word of life in Jesus' name. To save the souls of the children of men into your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Last time we were talking about what we saw in Psalm 132. How salvation was typified as something you are to be clothed with. Let's go again to Psalm 132. Reading verses 13 to 18. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever. Here will I dwell. For I have desired it. And we have abundantly bless our provision. I will satisfy her poor with bread. I will also clothe her priests with salvation. And her saints shall shout aloud for joy. There will I make the horn of David to board. I have ordained a lamp for my anointed. His enemies will I clothe with shame. But upon himself shall his crown flourish. These verses describe the will of God for the people of God. In the New Testament, Zion refers to the church of God. And he's telling us what he wants for the people of Zion. He says this is his rest forever. And he will dwell in his his people forever. Remember when Jesus gave the Holy Ghost to the church? He said he would dwell with us forever. God has promised to abundantly bless the provision of Zion. And to satisfy her poor with bread. So if you are part of the people of God, he has promised to bless you abundantly to provide for all your needs. And if you are part of the people of God, you are poor. He has promised to provide for you too. He doesn't want you to continue to live in poverty. He wants to promote you from poverty to riches. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ Christ that though he was rich, yet for your sex he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. This reveals clearly is the will of God to bless and provide for his people, to move every one of his people that is in poverty from poverty to riches. That's the will of God for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But this will happen as we obey the Lord. Not while you remain an adulterer, a liar, a cheat, a thief. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 16. In Psalm 132, I'm back to Psalm 132. Are we also clothed her priest? with salvation. So salvation becomes a garment with which God's people are clothed. 
Igbaladi asho iti afin wo awen ni yon Salvation here is typified as a garment, something with which his priests are to be clothed. Afi igbala we asho ti awan lufa. Ti afi wo awan lufa olorun. Understand in the New Testament, every believer is a priest. Jeko yi okwe ni numadja mututu go go ni gago ni alufa. In the New Testament, we are in a time in which all who believe in Christ are priests. Ni numadja mututu awa ni akoko to jekwe gugba ato bagba Christi go ni olu ashe ni alufa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Revelation. Ifihon. Chapter 1. Ori kini. Verse 6. Ese kefa. And has made us kings and priests unto God and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Just if you are here at the alufa. For a lot of the babare. Till then you go at the joba. Lie at the lie lie. Amen. Amen. First Peter chapter 2. Peter kini. Ori kechi. Verse 5. Ese karun. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house. E yi pelu bi okuta ye. Ni akoni ili emi. And holy priest who to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Lati maru e bo e mi ti se ite wa gba lodo Olorun nipa Jesu Christi. As talking of the church. Ele yin so nipa ijo. The church of Christ. Ijo Christi is called a holy priesthood. A pe ni alufa mi mo when the time of the priesthood of all believers. A wa ni akoko ti gogo ni gbagbo ja alufa mi mo. Verse 9. Ese kesan. For you are a chosen generation. Sugbon yin ni iran ti ayan. A royal priesthood and holy nation the peculiar people that you should show for the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. This confirms again all believers in the New Testament are priests of God. But God demands that we show forth his praises by the way we live. And the only way we can do that is to live in holiness. So the people of the world will not be able to point accusing fingers at us pointing to evil things in our lives. Let's go back to Psalm 132. Verse 16. And we also close our priests with salvation. We went to those places to show that the priest in the New Testament refers to all believers. Alors ça on habite à l'orni. Là tu fais quoi? Ni nous mangez à mon tutu. À l'ouvre on t'a cassé beau beau. À mon ingrat beau. Alléluia. Alléluia. So salvation becomes a garment with which all children of God are clothed. Isaiah 61 verse 10. Isaiah or what? I say Isaiah or what? Ni on God I say que wa. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. Emi o yogi yogi ni oluwa. Read from Ironia your version. My soul shall be joyful in my God. For he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments. And as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. More clearly in this place, that salvation is typified as a garment with which people of God are clothed. I'm citing these scriptures to explain what we read in Revelation 7 14. Don't forget. Where the scripture says, they wash their robes in the blood of the Lamb. And made them white. Zechariah chapter 3. Verses 1 to 7. And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord. And Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. Satan is it ruler or to re? Lati kodju ijasi. And the Lord said unto Satan. Olu wasi we fun Satan ipe. The Lord rebuked thee, O Satan. Olu abawi was Satan. Even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuked thee. Ani olu atioti on Jerusalem. O bawi. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Igi na koni amukro ni ni na. 
Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments. Bayi afi ashoti odoti wo Joshua. And stood before the angel. Osi duro ni waju angeli. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Osi da wo wi fa wo ti oduro ni waju repe. Take away the filthy garments from him. Bo ashoti ni kro ni arare. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thy iniquity to pass from thee. Osi wi fun kwe wo. And I will clothe thee with change of raiment. And I said, Let them set a fair mitre upon his head. So they set a fair mitre upon his head. And clothe him with garments. And the angel of the Lord stood by. And the angel of the Lord protested unto Joshua, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, If thou will walk in my ways, and if thou will keep my charge, then thou shalt also judge my house, and shall also keep my courts. And I will give thee places to walk among these that stand by. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who are those standing by? The angels of God. So God was telling Joshua, if you walk in obedience, I will promote you. That's what he was saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will become my servant permanently. You'll be promoted to high places. Observe in verse 3, he was clothed with filthy garments. The filthy garments typify the iniquity of the nation of Israel. It typified the iniquity of the whole nation of Israel. Not just himself alone. Because he was standing in the office of the priesthood as of that time. He was the high priest. The filthy garments he was clothed with in this vision was referring to the iniquities in his life and in the lives of the people of Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I told you Revelation 7 14, they washed their robes in the blood of the lamb and made them white. It is talking about their spiritual lives. You can see here again filthy garments. Was referring to the iniquities of the children of Israel. That was why after the Lord said, take away the filthy garments from him. He said, I have caused thy iniquities to pass from thee. And I will clothe you with change of raiment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, beloved, after you have come to the Lord, washing the blood of Christ, washing in the blood of the Lamb is compulsory. You have to wash in the blood of the Lamb and make your robe white. We stop here today. Father, we bless your name. We thank you for the opportunity to speak your word. What are the words in the hearts of the people? Let it save their souls into your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. This word of life program is coming to you through the mouth of God's servant. Bamishi Akinduro of the Triumphant Church of Jesus Christ at 66 in Lagos Abe Okuta Expressway, Abe Koko Ifo, Ogun State, Nigeria. For further Christian life help, contact 0805-501-6597. 0805-501-6597 by SMS or WhatsApp or email Uluwabamishi Akinduro at gmail.com. O L U W A B A M I S E A K I N D U R O at gmail.com. O L U W A B A M I S E A K I N D U R O at gmail.com. You can also call 0803-842-4075. 0803-842-4075. Or 0803-695-4678. 0803-695-4678. Copies of this short sermon and other longer sermons in English language only can be sent to you free of charge by WhatsApp or email if you request for them. Join us for this Word of Life program, same day of the week, same time every week. Our Sunday morning service starts at 9 a.m. You are invited to fellowship with us. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen and amen.